I don't know why. I saw it, put it in my cart, and I bought it. I, I don't know why. I really don't. I just... Let's do this. Welcome to Wister Riffs. If you're new here, I'm Kevin. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate everyone who watches my videos. And I don't know why I did this. I bought a whiskey. This is a Cavanaugh Irish whiskey with a French oak finish. I don't know if that's any good or not. It was $25 a total wine. It was not expensive whiskey. It's not a pastel Irish whiskey. It, in fact, I can't even find a website on Cavanaugh whiskey. If, if you have a website or a reference to them, please put it in the comments. I can't find any reference at all. All I could find was people talking about the fact that they couldn't find anything related to this whiskey. So it's a 40% ABV whiskey, probably a green whiskey, which is not my favorite. I don't usually buy cheaper Irish whiskeys because I don't like the cheaper Irish whiskeys. They have a metallic taste to them. But I figured, you know what? Let me give this one a shot. Maybe they did something with the French oak finish that helps out. Maybe it's a, a special French oak that brings out magical flavors that you can't get normally from cheaper whiskeys. I don't know. Let me go ahead and get a glass. Let me pour this and we'll talk a little bit more about it. And like I said, I don't know much about this whiskey. I don't know why I'm pouring this much of this whiskey, but uh, it seems like a thing to do at this time because I may as well give it a good taste. I'm scared. <laughs> Can I admit that? I'm a little scared of this particular whiskey. I wish there was more information on this. It says it's uh, limited edition bottling <laughs> at $25 a bottle, limited edition, which explore the full spectrum of flavors, different casts impart on Irish whiskey. How could it be bad? This, is, this has gotta be great. Let's see what the nose is on this thing. The nose is not good on this thing. What is that? This could be a very bad episode. <laughs> I'm so sorry in advance. This, this could be your warning episode not to do this to yourself. This smells like a cleaning product that I use to clean a bathroom. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't, I don't I can't pick out a note. There's a ammonia note. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's just, the alcohol note and it's not much else. Maybe a little tiny bit of honey. I don't know, it's it's really not there. I think I've gotten past the uh, bathroom cleanser note, so maybe let's try a taste of this. Could be worse. It wasn't as bad as the nose was. Not much to it. That is thin. I mean, I've been drinking some 40% ABV whiskeys lately, and they have some spunk and some body. This has almost nothing. It's actually got a little bit of spice and flavor. Maybe that's the French oak casts in the limited release of this whiskey. And it's not horrible. I've had worse cheap Irish whiskeys. Sometimes they're so metallic you can't get past that. The green whiskey is just like the lowest of lowest ends. There's not much processing. It's usually column stills. I tend to go for the pot still Irish whiskey. I like the triple distilled. I like sometimes a finishing cask. There's so many things in Irish whiskey that I really love, which is why I tend to stay away from the 15 to 20, $25 range of them. I think the, the non French oak cask version of this is something around 16, $17. It's even cheaper than this $25 one. So, I guess this is a limited release, but it's not great. I mean, I don't know if I'd even do this in a mixed drink. It's not a neat drink. It's getting worse as I taste it. It wasn't bad that first couple of tastes. Now, I don't know. It's, it's, it's making me upset. Hang on, I gotta fix this. I can't, I can't just do this. There better be something in this bottle. Oh, shoot. All right, well, there we go. We just empty the teeling. Now, this is a beautiful Irish whiskey. Teeling pot still Irish whiskey. Oh, love that distillery. It's in Dublin, visited, great tour, great explanation of their whiskeys. They really care about them. This is one that I would recommend highly. And that nose, there's apples and there's butter. 
and there's maltiness in there. There's just all these different lovely notes of flavor and a richness and a fullness and spiciness and pepper and definitely honey and a little bit of apple, a little sour apple even. But a nice finish, a lovely whiskey. What is the ABV on this one? 46%. So non-chill filtered, just a great expression. And this one, the Cavanaugh limited edition is not a great Irish whiskey. Don't, don't do the Cavanaugh. Or, save your money. Uh, go for a nice pot still Irish whiskey. Go for red breast, go for a uh, green spot, go for teeling. They're lovely Irish whiskeys. Don't subject yourself to the Cavanaugh. It's, it's bad. I, maybe you can clean a sink with it. I'm not sure. I, I just, I'm not happy. I'm not happy at all with it. Uh, if you've had any experience with Cavanaugh, I'd like to hear about it in the comments below. If you like teeling, if you like green spot, if you like red breast, let me know about that in the comments below too. I should do another review of some of those whiskeys because I miss Irish whiskeys. I haven't had enough of them lately. And uh, yeah, this was, this was a bad detour. I don't know what's gonna happen with this bottle. It's not going in me. <laughs> so until next time, take care of yourself. Take care of those people around you. And cheers. Now I have to buy a new bottle of tea lane. Got a good recycle review coming up. Watch for that, because I got a lot of empty bottles lately.